presents. I'm not sure I know anybody who doesn't. I used to love watching my three children opening their Christmas presents on Christmas Day and that was the best present for me to see the joy in their faces. The Bible tells us about three presents given to Jesus. Not things you'd choose for a toddler. As you listen today, think about why the Magi, or wise men, chose the gifts they did. I love to stare up at the stars. There are some folks who know how to use the stars when out at sea to find which way to go. There were some wise and well-read men who looked into the sky, saw a star and seemed to understand its point, its reason why. It was long ago and in the east, they set off on the track with their camel through the sands with all their gifts upon her back. They knew the star was showing them the place to find the one who was born to be the king of all God's people, God's own son. They stopped outside a palace in Jerusalem to see this little king because where else a royal was going to be? But he wasn't in that place and checking out the sky, they see they've got it wrong and now they know the reason why. This king from God was from the family of David, so to Bethlehem they journeyed on and this time they would know which child to give their gifts to, their gold fit for a king, and frankincense to worship God was just the sort of thing. The third gift some would wonder at, for surely myrrh would be for burial, expensive yes, but something strange to see. The Bible says they worshipped him. They'd seen so many things, but nothing like this child who would become the king of kings. We aren't sure how long it took them to find Jesus, but the Bible says it was in a house, not in the manger anymore. Their gifts were very expensive. And although the Bible doesn't say why they chose these three things, they do seem quite significant. As you think about what presents to give others this Christmas, perhaps take a moment to think about what God wants from us. As Christians, we believe he loves us. And all he asks in return is that we love and trust him.